Hi, this is Josh and welcome to homehub.tech. On this video, I will be going through updating my iDRAC on my Dell R630. So the uh, first thing you need to do is log in. I'm going to give you a warning about using the default username and password and whether you want to change it. Uh, you can go ahead and change it if you want to, but I've kept it as it is for uh, ease of access. Um, you can click to ignore the warning as well. So once you're signed in, you need to go down to server uh, on the left-hand side menu, click on iDRAC settings, and then go to update and rollback. Now to find the correct firmware, you need to go to www.dell.com forward slash support. And then from here, you should be able to either put the Dell service tag, or you can just search for the server that you have. So I have a PowerEdge R630. So I'll just type that in the box. Uh, yeah, so now we're gonna search for the uh, iDRAC firmware. So if we just change the operating system to not applicable, uh, keyword iDRAC, and here you can see the latest version. Now currently I'm on 2.80.80.80. When you are upgrading iDRAC, you can't upgrade to the latest version straight away. So you have to go say from 2.80.80 to 2.81.81.81 to 2. 82.82.82 and then to 2.83.83.3 etc etc until you get to the very last one. So when looking for the correct firmware there's lots of options available. Uh, initially I downloaded the wrong one, uh, uploaded that and it uh, failed to extract the, the firmware. So the update you will need is the iDRAC with lifecycle controller firmware and then the firmware version that you need. So I need the 2.8 81.81.81 underscore a 00.exe. Make sure you get that one, otherwise the other one will you will upload it and then it won't work. Um, it will it will error out. Once the download finished, I then proceed to go back to the iDRAC interface, go to update and roll black, uh, click browse, and then find it. Find the file that you that you just downloaded. Open it, and then iDRAC will go through the process of uploading that firmware. It takes some time but it will eventually upload. Once it's uploaded, uh, the status will change to package successfully downloaded. You can click the drop down box to show which components are being upgraded. Make sure you tick the upgrade you want to install as well. Otherwise, obviously you won't be able to install it. So once it's ticked, click install. It will pop up a little box to say that you can um, view the upgrade progress in the job queue. Uh, so here we can see that the firm update iDRAC is currently downloading. And after a few refreshes, it should eventually change. Uh, while that's uh, still on downloading, I'll go and download all the rest of the updates that I need to get to the latest version. And once it's done, it changes to a completed with 100%. Once it's got to 100%, um, iDRAC will restart. You'll probably get a connection timeout um, if, you do, if you refresh the page, but it should eventually get back to the login page. Then you can log back in again and you can check the current firmware again just to make sure it's been updated. And as you can see here, we're on the one that we upgraded to, which is 2.81.81.81. Uh, and then basically now you just need to go through that whole process again until it's fully upgraded at the latest version. I'll speed this up so you don't have to sit there and watch me upgrade it five or six times because it's going to take a long time. I think the, the full recording of this video is... 54 minutes long and I'm sure you'd rather not watch a 54 minute long video of my iDRAC firmware upgrades so I'm just going to skip to the end. So here you can see the logging in after the last one which I'm recording is 2.84.84.84. Yeah so that was a quick video just demonstrating how to upgrade iDRAC on a Dell PowerEdge R630. 
This is the first video that's in my home lab series. Um, I'm going to be running through setting up my Dell server. Um, I've got a QNAP NAS. Uh, I'm currently running Unraid server as well, so I can do a couple of videos on that. But yeah, if you're interested in home labs, what I'm planning to do uh, with everything, confirm my servers and things, and all my network equipment. But yeah, if you're interested in that type of stuff, uh, stick around because I'll be uploading quite a few more videos. See you in the next one.